Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're going to expand a little bit on um, the London and specifically on what we talked about in the last video. Where after d4, d5, bishop f4, knight f6, um, if white goes for the setup with e3, c3, and knight d2, which is the setup I will probably recommend to those of you who don't want to memorize too much. On the high level, on the grandmaster level, <clears throat> they tend to play knight f3 a little bit earlier, but there is a little bit more mem memorization involved. So if you want to avoid it, you want to play, you want to play this setup: e3, c3, and the knight e2. And I will quickly remind you why. I'm going to expand a little bit on this. So <clears throat> um, e3, c5. Blind does not want to play e6 orderly. So if you're playing against the London, you want to keep an option open of playing bishop f5. Uh, so <clears throat> you do not want to play an orderly e6. So c5, c3, knight c6. Again, something we talked about. If white plays knight d2, um, which is the main move, uh, white is absolutely okay. However, if he plays knight f3, this allows queen b6. Because the queen attacks this, it's not so easy to deal with it. And today I will actually, I will flip the board. I'm going to show you how to play this from Black's point of view, because a lot of your opponents will play the London against you. Uh, so again, White has several options. He doesn't really want to play b3 because it creates a lot of weaknesses on the queen side. This is something that I'll talk about later. So <clears throat> White will usually play queen c2 or queen b3. If White plays queen c2, we're going to play g6, and we'll play bishop f5. If white plays queen b3, we can do this. If they take, this is really good for us. Again, in a separate video, I'll show you some examples why this is good. We have an open line. We have this idea. And um, I will leave this for a different video. If he plays queen c2, this is the idea which I mentioned in the last video, which is bishop f5. We sacrifice the bishop, because if my takes, we take here, and we get the rook. So, takes, takes, and black is doing really well. So, the game we'll look at, white, which is the game between two grandmasters, um, <clears throat> um, which is the game between two grandmasters, we got to this position. And playing black in this game was Viktor Lesnitska, who is the second best player from Czech Republic. He used to be rated 2700. And we'll see how he played this. So obviously white does not want to take. He needs to keep dependent the pawn. So in the game white played queen, c1. Depend the pawn. And Lesnitska played knight h5. Why is he playing knight h5? Well, um, he wants to trade the sign for the bishop, but he also has another idea. He wants to play f6 and e5 and fight for the center. Okay, why dropped his bishop back, bishop g3, and we could take right away, but there is no rush. Because this bishop is not going to go anywhere. Ideally, we would like for him to castle first. Because if we take right now and white takes back, <clears throat> he gets an open line. Um, so we're going to wait to take. Lesnitska played f6, prepare e5. Um, white played knight d2 because white wanted to develop. And now black plays e5. But at first, it looks like e5 is a mistake because white has three attackers. And black has only two defenders. But the point is, we can get rid of this bishop whenever we want. 
So after white took, black first eliminates the bishop. White, of course, stays with this pawn. Staying with this pawn loses control of this square, and there is a queen. So white takes with this pawn, and now black takes. And black takes with the knight because now he wants to come to this outpost, which forces black, which, sorry, which forces white to take. <clears throat> takes, takes. And black's position is extremely pleasant. We have more space. We have two bishops. Life is really good. Why? Thought that he had a very nice move here and play pawn e4. What's the point? Well, he's attacking the bishop and the pawn, and this pawn is kind of busy defending this pawn. So if we take with the pawn, or if we take with the bishop, he takes, then we take with the pawn. It looks like this pawn is going to die. But what did black do? Black just drops the bishop. And there is a reason. Because after my took, Lesnitska played bishop c5, double attacking the pawn. White thought he was okay, because he takes on c4. He got rid of the black center, and he says, I'm okay. So bishop takes, um, king e2. <clears throat> um, and here, our queen is attacked. So Lesnitska moves, Lesnitska moves the queen to f6 to defend. And this is an instructive moment, because why, in this game, thought he had a tactic. He said, black queen is overworked. I can take the pawn, black will take back, and I'll take the bishop. And life is good. <clears throat> but after my took, we are not obligated to take. In fact, white helped us out. He opened this line. And so instead, black simply castles. And now the skin is really open. Um, we have a lot of pieces. We are down two points, but it doesn't matter because compare the safety of the two kings, white grabs his bishop. Of course, we could take back, but there is no need to do it yet. Let's bring the last piece into the game first. Rook check, the king has to be very careful. He can go here, because now these two guys are on the same line. Bishop here will win the queen. He can go, um, he can go here, because this guy is on the same line. So rook here will win the queen. So this is why white played king z3. But now black takes <clears throat> black takes the knight. White is still up to pawns, but the problem is his king ends up on c4. Um, <clears throat> and the rest of the game was just black chasing the skin down and getting him in trouble. So what I wanted to take away from this game is if we get back to the beginning, if you're playing if you're playing in the long, what you want to do is you don't want to play e6 too early because you want to keep this option of bishop f5. And if you're white, you need to be careful. And in this position, you want to play knight d2. Because if white plays knight f3, um, then we get into what we saw in this game, when we play queen b6. Again, if white plays queen c2, we play g6 and bishop f5. And after what in the game, we play c4, and then we play bishop, bishop f5, and um, the queen has to drop back, and black has a really, really pleasant position. And again, if white takes, we take this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. And I will be back soon. Thank you.